guys welcome to RGS and this is a review of CWM recovery for so many people who were asking me questions about it and let's get started guys CWM recovery is a type of recovery which is used to install rooms which doesn't have signature verification or some rooms which are complicated and this have cool more cool features and the first one coming to the first options thingy the first one is reboot system now second one is install zip from SD card third one is wipe data or factory asset and fourth one is wipe shack partition fifth one is backup and restore and sixth one is mounts and storage and the seventh one is advanced so if you want to install a room you should select the second option which is install zip from SD card and there would be again four options but you just uh, tick on the first option choose zip from SD card so it would give you the files which are in your SD card and as you can see there are some rooms over here Mine. Sorry for this brightness, but I can't uh, just take all this brightness. So as you can see, one year. That's not my phone's room actually. This is iOS 7 version 2 room. I just kick it. So install iOS 7, and it will show like this updating package, Aroma installer. I've already done this, so I'm not going to do this. I'm, I can't just uh, crap all mine. So. I'm gonna go back to CWM right now. Wait a minute. Back into CWM. I just pull this out. Look at that. The first option I've showed you it's reboot system now. It does not do anything, it just reboots your phone. Second option installing zip from SD card as I've shown you. And third option is wipe data or factory data reset. You just select it and if you press this thing it will wipe all your all the data in your phone and it will just make your phone as a factory stock and I don't recommend you doing this unless if if the lock have like the pattern locks or pin locks if you fail failed in typing the correct question for more than 20 times it just locks out so after doing this your phone would pop out like a new phone I don't recommend you doing this unnecessarily or for typers okay I'm going back third option wipe shack and partition that's none of our business because we don't have any use with it and the fifth one the most important one backup and restore if you press backup it's gonna back up everything in my phone right now even with the UI the ROM the files and even the Google settings and the accounts restore all the backup information would be here with the name would be in form of this 2015 one dude that's the date of the backup and the time so backup and restore and there's the third option called as advanced restore I'm gonna select one of these so it will ask you if you want to restore boot restore system or restore data shack SD card that's it Coming to advance, we don't have much things doing, but I am going to give you an advice that when you are going to install a new ROM, you just uh, select the second option over here, wipe the 